Hi friends, how are you? Uh, this is a short video on um, supine poses. Supine means to lie down. In Sanskrit, it is called as supta or uh, lying down. These are poses which allow you to stay settled, composed, and uh, you can focus on the breath in that. You are going to be taking normal inhalations, normal exhalations. You are not going to be doing any modifications to your breath. You are just going to observe the normal breath as it enters and leaves your body. Watch carefully. Thank you. So the first pose I want to show you is Supta Virasan. Supta, as I explained to you before, is to lie down. Virasan is the name of the pose. To be able to do this pose and to be able to stay settled and composed in it, first and foremost, you need to be able to sit in this position. I will show you how to sit. So you come to kneeling position, you spread your inner heels away from your outer hip. So the heel has to be slightly wide. You spread your calf muscle like this, as you can see away from the center line of the mat towards the outer edges of the mat and then slowly release yourself as though you are trying to fit your buttocks between your inner heels. If this is very difficult for you or it is not available for you at all, you can take some regular household uh, things like for example, I have kept a towel here, a bath towel. You can use a bath towel because it can be folded into any kind of a thickness and you can insert that between the floor and your buttock bones and you can sit on it. This itself for some of you who don't have a regular practice may be enough on a given day. As you start getting comfortable with this seat seating you want to then think of reclining back in this position. So I'm showing you how to recline back and how to settle on the bolster or you may have your house pillows. If you are finding it difficult to go to this height, you can add, you can create a structure of two or three pillows, one on top of the other. Okay. So watch carefully how to recline. I am assuming that you have a reasonable practice that you have learnt and you are practicing at home. So I am showing you from the floor. You sit, buttocks touching the floor, walk back, lift the chest. It is very important to extend this torso. Keep walking back. See how much I go back and I push my wrist. I do not let my back drop out of my front body. So activate the back body to front body connection. Then bend the elbow, come on to your elbow and forearm on both. And then your back will touch the bolster. You will extend your torso away from your pelvis. So your torso has to come this way. Your thighs have to go this way and you will settle down in this position. Release your elbows, forearm, finger knuckles. Keep the chest lifted through the touch of the bolster in your back. Keep the face expression soft. And then you can observe your exhalation and inhalation. For the next six or ten breath cycles even more if you are able to stay comfortably to come out with the inhalation slowly open your eyes use the wrist part of your palm to push on the heel lift your head up to look at your chest pressing the elbows and the forearms on the floor come into this position Press the hands on the floor and come up to seated position. To come out from this position, please remember do not try to jump out or do anything abrupt. Make sure 
that you come into a kneeling position and then extend your legs in dandasan spread the backs of your thigh release your heels release your legs gradually on the floor sit erect you always have to sit sit erect there is no yoga pose which tells you to sit like this okay there is no yoga pose which says drop your back so you are always going to sit erect once you feel that you are you may get pins and needles in the legs if those have gone away and you feel the you are comfortable you can come into standing position sukta baddha konasan i am showing you with the props that are used in a normal yoga class you may use your imagination you may use towels you may use pillows that you use to sleep on you may use thicker garments like jeans or sweaters that can be rolled and put like this watch the process or method of going in sit upright in dandasan slowly bend the knees softly rest the outer calf and outer hip on the rolled blanket like so and bring the soles of the feet to touch evenly outer edges of the feet touching together outer edges of the feet will be on the floor soles of the feet touching together reclining back like you learnt in virasan slightly lift yourself up in the buttock and shift your buttock away from the pillow away from the bolster keep your back lifted go on to your elbow forearm on both arms receive the support of the pillows and bolster in your back and then evenly place the left side and right side of your back on the bolster adjust this blanket so that it supports the curvature of your neck back of your head release the arms not too wide not too narrow in between which allows the elbow forearm to release you will feel there is a lift it is coming to the chest because of the pillow in your back you will get this nice lift in the armpit chest you will get this lift in the breast plate softly close your eyes separate the biting surfaces of the teeth and connect with your breathing by observing it when you exhale you will feel this area become soft and it releases when you inhale you will feel there is a spreading to your ribs there is a lifting to the ribs just connect with that rhythm of your rib cage and navel you can stay for 6 to 12 breath cycles if you are comfortable you can continue to stay longer to come out you will slowly open the eyes with the inhalation you will bring your inner thighs together towards each other shift your buttock a little bit more if and stay here then roll to the right side and come up to sitting setu bandha sarvangasan sit on the end of the bolster closer to the wall feet on the floor knees bent recline back press the floor down with the wrist part of your palm lift your buttock shift this buttock away from the lumbar see i hope you can see shift this buttock away come to the forearm and elbows on both arms feel the back on the bolster the true ribs area and then from here slowly release your corners of the shoulders on the floor so you get a dome shape in the chest extend your legs connect the heel into the wall now you see the knees are bent and close to the wall so don't just push the legs hold the bolster 
with your hands and pressing the feet so that you don't slide off the bolster. You come into this position. Keep the legs active, steadily extending into the wall to keep your lower back safe. Keep the shoulder corners firmly plugged to keep the chest open. Soft face, forehead, temple skin should be soft. Upper eyelid on lower eyelid softly, eyes soft. Unclench the biting surfaces of the teeth, tongue soft. And steadily breathe, smooth exhalations, steady even inhalations. Stay to your capacity. To come out with the inhalations, slowly bend the knees, open the eyes. Support your head in your right palm, roll to the right side. And Come on. Viparita Karan. Sit on the bolster, hands on your blanket, both buttocks touching the wall. Bring the shoulder to the edge of the blanket or mat like this. Slowly swing your legs up. Spread your buttock. Connect your legs to the wall. Connect the shoulder corners to the floor. You want a soft navel. You want a dome shape of the chest. You want legs flowing into the hips. Release the arms, keep the face expression soft and calm, eyes, tongue, forehead, temple, skin should be soft. Follow your normal breath. To come out, inhale, slowly open the eyes, bend the knees, support your head in your right palm, roll to the right side and come out. Shavasana. Bent knees, feet on the floor, shift the buttock a little bit away from the blanket towards your heels. Recline back, go on your elbows and forearms, rest your back body on the floor, support the back of the neck and the back of your head on the blanket. Observe this action carefully, I press the feet, I lift the buttock, using my hands I shift my upper buttock away from the lumbar, releasing the arms completely. One leg at a time, I release the legs, drop the toes to the floor. Lift the head up slightly to check that the torso and legs are in a straight line. And then completely releasing the legs from buttock to heels, releasing the arms from shoulders to finger knuckles. Plugging the corners of the shoulder into the floor so that there is a lift in the chest area. And then beginning to release the expression of the face. Starting from the hairline, from the forehead, temple skin. Soften the skin. Softly close the eyes. Upper eyelid soft on the lower eyelid. Eyes soft. Unclench the biting surfaces of the teeth. Part your lips. Let your tongue soften away from the frontal teeth into the base of the mouth. 
surrender to the floor exhale slowly softly smoothly inhale smoothly evenly following your normal inhalation exhalations when you want to come out use the inhalation phase to end the practice slowly open the eyes bend the knees support your head in your right palm roll to the right side and then pressing the left hand on the floor lift yourself up to sitting these are supine poses these are very helpful in regaining your energy suggested time in every supine pose would be about 7 to 10 minutes on an average it will take your body about 2 to 3 minutes to settle into the pose for you to get comfortable composed in a pose it will take another 2 3 minute 2 minutes for your breath to get into a smooth rhythm and you have to stay and observe the effects of the pose on the breath on the mind and on your entire internal systems so it is about being quiet you want to do it in a quiet place where there is no other disturbance this is a very important practice highly recommended i hope you will follow it regularly and enjoy the benefits of this practice it is a pleasure to see you again on youtube thank you and namaste